So I'm Stéphane Houdet from France. I'm a wheelchair tennis for now uh, 15 years. I started to play tennis as a kid and I discovered wheelchair tennis uh, many years later. I had no idea uh, about wheelchair tennis and how it was possible to play with a, a wheelchair. As far as I can go in my memory, I was playing with balls and rackets, uh, including uh, on the beach in my bedroom as a kid against the wall, uh, playing badminton, um, squash, everything that was with a ball and rackets. When I was 25 years old, I was working with um, a doctor and uh, to celebrate, we said we plan a, a trip around Europe to visit all the capitals. One day on the motorbike, I was with the motorbike, I uh, overtook a car, didn't see me, I was blocked on the left and something happened like tick. And I said, oh, my bag behind the motorbike has touched like 50 meters, stop. And when I stop, oh, no, it's not my bag. Uh, it's my leg and I didn't feel, didn't feel anything. So that's the day it changed and when my friends came and I said, okay, the, the, the match we're going to play tomorrow uh, with the squash, it's going to be uh, even because I will play only on one leg. So there was a way already to, to rehab <laughs> mentally. I was playing ND golf, it was golf for amputees, uh, paraplegic, blind, uh, it's the Paralympic golf, kind of, because they don't have the Paralympic. But uh, my friend from the, f the French team told me, uh, do you know if you're going to play tomorrow golf? I said, no, I have no idea. And he was so excited and said, tell me, tell me. Uh. And then he mentioned the name of Johan Cruyff. I said, what? Johan Cruyff golf? Uh, Spain doesn't match. And actually it was Johan because he was so much involved in different sports. So I told him because by the time I was uh, uh, number one in Europe with the uh, Andy Golf, and I said I'm number one in Europe for the last two years, but I dream of a world golf tour for the disabled. And he said, "Wow, that's a, such a great idea. We're gonna do that. We are not going to start from scratch with the golf because we are already involved in another sport, and it was wheelchair tennis. So he asked me to go." to see a wheelchair tennis tournament. So I went, okay, I saw, and immediately I wanted to go in the chair to try, and, and, and I met guys, and, and someone told me, oh, this one is, or was 17 in the world. And I said, wow, if this one is 17 in the world, I can be 16 tomorrow. Here we are at the National Tennis uh, Center uh, for a training camp, and uh, we were working on the stats. So we do analyze matches. The goal is to know where we choose to put the ball and do a nice comparison with uh, what our opponents are doing too. The first day I've tried to play wheelchair tennis, I was really uncomfortable with the position. Immediately I wanted to be uh, a little bit upper and, and, and to find a position where I can um, uh, copy the motion I was doing on my legs. We uh, decided a few key points to say, okay, it should be this position and we're going to work on the way you're going to fix the wheels to the frame, so that's why I screw my wheels. The size of the rim is the size of my hand. Then when I push, I have the power of my hand instead of just one finger. The forks, they're open all the time, which means the three small wheels, they're always in the same way, same path all the time. En fait, avec coupé. So I'm Marie Sarmadiras, uh, now Marie Houdet. Uh, I met Stéphane when I was an entrepreneur. Uh, one of our common friends uh, was organizing a party in Paris uh, and loved uh, Stéphane's story uh, and went to talk to him to understand better his story and see if we could do some sponsoring for him. Oui, trop 
trop bien. Tu m'as dit que tu allais me raconter. As you can guess, Stefan has a very strong character. Uh, I would tend to say bad, but uh, let's say strong. Uh, and I must, have, I must say I have two. So it's two very strong characters living in the same house, uh, which is amazing. Sometimes can be a bit, uh, it can sparkle. Stefan is the happiest man, person, I must say, uh, I ever met. I just wish him to continue to be so happy. So if it's being number one in tennis, let it be. If it's somewhere else, doing something else, let it be also. But my personal choice would be be number one. My main trophies are at the Tennis Museum of Roland Garros. Uh, I gave them the prepare the museum, so you have only a few of them here. So it's, it's part of the calendar, but we are very, very prepared to play the slams and all the tournaments in between. It doesn't really make a difference to play uh, the Paralympics or the slam. It would be huge in Tokyo with uh, Shingo, Yui, all the Japanese, very uh, focused on Wicha tennis. So we will have a lot of pleasure being there and playing this uh, big tournament. But we're going to be very well prepared with all the slams uh, right before. Because I'm always looking for what is next. Um, after Tokyo, I want to go for Paris 2024 at home, on the clay, Roland Garros, of course.